The IC705 is definitely the newest QRP rig on the market right now. And I wanted to take a video and compare some physical features of it. This is not going to be an in-depth comparison between it and several of its, quote, competitors. But it's going to be a couple of questions that I've been asked about what does it weigh, how big is it, how does it compare. We're going to take a look at that, and um, we're going to see um, a couple of different things today on Ham Radio 2.0. Shut up and Good evening. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. And on this channel, on YouTube and several other platforms, we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio. The ICOM IC705, of course, is one of the newest things in amateur radio today. So we're going to talk about it today. I want to do an in-depth review. Yes, I do. But that would take about four to five hours, and nobody wants to listen to me talk that long. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare. I'm going to basically set these radios next to each other. I've got with me today, I've got a, a Zygu X5105. Put that there. Transition. Okay, so we're going to do something really kind of cool today. So X5105 right here. That's that radio. You can see in the overhead... Uh, let's zoom that out a touch. Here's the, this is a scale. I'm going to weigh these and see what they all weigh as compared to one another. There's a 5105. This is an Elecraft KX3 with no internal battery. <laughs> I had to check that. This is my Zygu G90 right here, uh, which has the fan on it. And that's not going to be a fair comparison of weight. So I'm going to take the fan off. This is a radio. This fan stand is made by Radiodity. It's called an H1. And oh, it's in the back there. There's that. Put that all together. Okay, so now we've got four. QRP radios that are all kind of in the shot right there all together. Um, this four part um, <laughs> this four part video uh, camera thing, I just I was tinkering around. I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> it might be kind of hard for you to watch. So I'm not gonna leave it going too long. you know, I'm gonna kind of switch over to that and we'll be we'll be better off there. All right, so these are four QRP radios that. Obviously, the newest one is the 705. The G90 does not have an internal battery. The X, uh, the KX3 doesn't come with an internal battery. Like everything Elecraft, it's all modular. So you can, it's got a place inside to put AA batteries, which you can put just standard everyday AA batteries, buy, buy off the shelf batteries. You can put rechargeable batteries in it, but then you have to add an additional board on the inside so that plugging in the power connector on the side will act as a recharge. It's kind of like a battery, uh, a charge controller. A, a charge controller is what it is. So that it'll act as a charge controller on the rechargeable batteries inside. So you've got two options. Well, you've got three options. You've got external power only. You've got um, regular everyday batteries put on the inside when they die. You open up the radio, take them out, put new ones in. Or you can buy a board, a charge controller board, install it, which is not very hard. It's just kind of plug and play. And... Um, and then you can uh, use the rechargeable batteries in it. So you just plug it up and charge them and rechargeable AA batteries. Okay, let's get started here. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Um, the G9, I'm going to guess, just from holding them, I have not done a test yet. This is the first, this is the first, um, I've not weighed any of these yet. I was going to do it on camera because I don't want to uh, form any uh presumptions about which one weighs more um i've got a couple of things i want to say about the 705 uh because that's kind of the that's kind of the radio that we're going to focus on today all right so i'm going to reset my scale there and you can see let me zoom in just a touch more 
You can see the zeros there. Okay. This is the Ella Craft KX3. KX2 is a little bit smaller, but this is a KX3, which is the one that I own. And we're going to sit at 27 ounces for the KX3. Again, there's no batteries in this right now. Um, I do have an internal uh, ATU installed. I installed the uh, internal tuner in it a while back. So this is an Elecraft KX3 with the internal tuner board installed, but not the charge controller and no batteries. 27 ounces is what we're looking at right there. This guy is the uh, Zygu X X5105, Shagu, Shigu, um, Zoro, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has an internal rechargeable battery that you cannot remove. You're not supposed to remove it. It's it's not like it's a it's it's not. I, I guess you could technically open it up and take it out of there. Um, it's not really made to be to to, to have that done. It's like uh, maybe like your Samsung smartphone. It's in there to stay. Yes, you could open it up and taking it out. Are you going to mess up anything? Probably not in this radio. There's probably a lot of room in here, but um, I've never opened it up, so I don't know. But this one is. But it doesn't pop off the back. It's an internal battery. Okay, so we're going to go like that. 32 ounce, 32.1 ounces on the X5105. I can set it like that. Okay, so 30, 31.9. Still about 32. It's only 0.2 ounces off. So about 32 ounces. About 32 ounces. Roughly about 5 ounces more than the Elecraft. Which, again, this one has a battery, the Yellow Craft does not. And next, I'm going to do this thing. This thing's definitely going to be the heaviest one. This is the, this is the um, Zygu, Shagu, Zoro, whatever, G90. Um, it does not have an internal battery, nor does it have an option for one. It does have an internal tuner installed, which is a very, very good internal tuner if you haven't used that. And turn this back on. Let that reset to zero. Right there. 57 ounces, more than twice what the Elecraft is. Okay, more than twice what the Elecraft is. It's only five watts more than the Elecraft. It's a lot bigger than the Elecraft. Let me hold these up right here. This is the Elecraft. This is the G90, like that. Um, I can do, I can get an even better shot than that. And get the G ninety right there, and the Elecraft fits on top of it. So you see how much larger the G ninety is than the Elecraft. And again, this is the Elecraft KX three. The KX two is even small, a little bit smaller than the KX three is. I don't own a KX two, so I can't show you that or weigh it today. But that is what that is. So the Elecraft without a battery, but the G ninety doesn't have a battery either. Okay, the G90 does 20 watts on single sideband. The Elecraft will do 15 watts on single sideband. But the but the G90 is much heavier. So we're going to set that over there. Come back over here. And now, the moment that everybody's been waiting for. Make sure that sets back to zero. Here is the 705. I've got the battery on the 705. There's a battery right there, but I don't have anything like a microphone or anything else like that plugged into it. 40.5 ounces. So that is less than, see, yeah, so you've got 27 for the Elecraft, okay? You've got 27, 27 for the Elecraft, uh, 32 for the 5105, which is this guy right here, okay? 57 for the G90, this dude, and what did that say? Forty, forty point five for the seven oh five. So that is, there you go. So the seven oh five is heavier than the than both the fifty one oh five and the Elecraft. Of course, it's a bigger radio also, but it's lighter. It's 6, 17 ish, 16 to 17 ounces lighter than the Zygu G90. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, well, you take the battery off, it makes it a lot lighter. No. The weight of the, uh, the weight of the, um, 
705, there's, there's no weight in the battery. So 3.7 ounces in the battery. I'm going to take the battery off and weigh the radio by itself. 36.7 ounces. Okay, so just under four ounces for the battery. Um, not uh, you, you, you add batteries to the KX3 and it's going to put a lot of weight into it. I had batteries in that KX3 when we did our soda expedition at Mount Pacifico outside of LA last November. The KX3 was at the time the only radio I actually owned, um, but the KX3 was the one I took. And I put internal batteries. Which the KX3 is incredibly easy to open up. You just turn these knobs right here. There's, there's two thumb screws on both sides of the radio, and the whole thing pops out. It's very easy to work on, very, to, very easy to open up, very easy to add batteries to, to add a charge controller, to add an ATU, very simple to do. Um, so I had the batteries in it when I was operating Pacifico last year. And I found that, you know, it, if you have an external bioeno battery, the, the radio does more output. So I ended up using those anyway. I used the internal batteries for a short bit, but I'm like, eh, I had uh, one, uh, somebody brought like two or three extra bioeno batteries. So we had plenty of those floating around between us. So I just used a bioeno battery to make most of my contacts and got the full 15 watts out. And I think it worked out better that way. But um, it's, definitely heavier if you have internal batteries in it and then if you put that extra board in it for the charge controller it's going to make it a little bit heavier also which is okay it really depends on what you want but if you want lightest weight the kx3 obviously the x5105 comes in at a very close second only about four or five ounces more and then you add to that about eight or nine ounces for the uh ic705 and then you add 17 ounces to that to get the g90 so backpackers beware <laughs> or backpackers FYI, I should say. Okay. So the G90 or uh, I'm sorry, the 705 is definitely a heavy radio for what it is. Of course, it's got the biggest screen out of all of them. So here is all of the radios together. And you can see that the, the, uh, the 705 absolutely has the largest screen on it. In fact, it's even got, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't think I got any juice in my 5105. Yeah, I do. There we go. Uh, this doesn't have a battery in it right now. So the, um, I don't want to listen to that. So that one's got juice in it, but I don't want to listen to it. So um, this one's definitely got the largest screen of the four, of the four displayed here. Here's what the, uh, set that up like that. This one, smallest screen, most output power, great great internal tuner but also the heaviest 57 ounces okay so you've got the one with the larger screen and no tuner that's uh, about 17 16 to 17 ounces lighter than the g90 i'm not telling you guys which one you should get um i've picked these up over a um period of being on the air for a while well on youtube for a while also on the air um, I purchased my 705. I purchased my 5105 used. Got that from um, eBay. Bought that on eBay used. And quite frankly, I, I was surprised I won it because I bid such a low price on it. I, I thought surely I'd get out bid and like two days later I get the CMO. You won. I think it was all around like, I think it was just under $300 I paid for it, which at the time, and these are selling for about five, 500 bucks right now. And it came with all these accessories like the, uh, the CE9 uh, interface for digital modes and all the cables and whatnot. So it was a really good deal I got on it. The KX3, it was a, um, a floor model that Elecraft uh, agreed to sell me uh, because I'd done some videos from them, for them at uh, various ham fests. They made me a really good price on it. Um, it was used, but it had filters installed on it. So I was, I picked that up like this has been like two, two and a half years ago since I picked that up. The G90 was uh, a courtesy of MFJ, a special thanks to MFJ for the, uh, for the donation of the G90 and the videos that I've done with the G90 in it, which I'm going to have more of those upcoming. All right, QSL, thanks for the contact, 73. A QRZ from Kilo Charlie 5, Hotel Whiskey Bravo, parks in the air. Kilo Echo 4. 
Kilo Echo 4 Zulu Uniform November 59 into Texas. QSL, copy the 55 North Carolina 73. Thanks for the contact. Uh, you can find a link to the MFJ website, and I'll put that one in this, uh, this video below as well, to where you can purchase the G90. So that's, uh, that's how I picked up all of these radios, and I've got them all in, a, in an external... Um, I've got them all in a... Uh, there, was a guy, there was a guy at the Orlando Hamcation in 2020 selling used Pelican cases, and I bought one of these used Pelican cases. It was about yay big, and I manipulated the i bought bought new i think i bought new uh foam inserts for it and then i tore out the ones that I, so that i could fit all three of these into all, all but the 705 because the 705 wasn't out yet so i fit both the zygus and the kx3 into it and then a, a, a an external bag for all the cables and whatnot so i'm probably going to end up putting the the icom in there too um and now i've got one box to carry around multiple qrp radios <laughs> It's all good. Oh, it's good times, good times, good times. So anyway, so there you go. Um, I've had a lot of questions about how much the 705 weighs. I haven't seen anyone do a weight test on it yet. Maybe someone has. I haven't watched every 705 video that's out there. I know that uh, Josh from the Ham Radio Crash Course has several really good videos. And two or three of them he did were live streams. They were like over two hours long. So I didn't, I didn't, I usually watch his live streams, but I didn't watch those. Um, or not all of them anyway, because he did them, he didn't do them on his normal Saturday thing. He did one of them like during the day on a Monday or something like that. I'd missed that one. Um, Julian, um, I forget Julian's call sign is Oscar hotel something. He's done two or three videos on the 705, really great outdoor, um, ham radio activation videos on his channel. And, uh, so he's done a couple of videos on the 705 and uh, to date, all of my videos on the 705 have been sitting here in the ham shack. So I've got some parks on the air activation stuff planned and upcoming with that very soon. 73 guys, let me know in your comments below what other types of videos and information you would like to see shared about the ICOM IC75 in an upcoming video. Catch you guys next time.